So unfortunately, uh, Neil Peart has died, and um, it's a very sad day for for the whole uh, drum community and also for the whole music world. This guy was a true genius of drumming. I am very inspired by what he does, what he did with Rush over the years. I had the pleasure to see see him live um, when they played in London the last time, which was I think around 2012-13. They played at the O2 Arena for the Clockwork Angels tour and uh, I remember that day quite vividly and I was so uh, excited to be there because you know, it was the first time that I saw Rush and obviously the last time. But uh, yeah, what a sad day for for the drumming world. Um, I remember listening to my first uh, Rush records and I completely being blown away by the way that this guy plays, you know, very intricate yet very musical parts. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very sad. I remember I, I actually covered one of his songs, one of Rush's songs from the album Test for Echo from 1986, I think. The song is called Time in Motion. I did this cover around 10 years ago. Um, and yes, ever since I've been listening to Rush, I'm a huge fan. I wish I saw them live more times, but I guess one time is better than nothing. But uh, yes, uh, it's really hard to sometimes uh, accept that your your drum heroes are gone. But all you can do is just, you know, keep uh, try to keep their legacy alive by listening to to their music and trying to maybe replicate their parts and trying to incorporate their playing into yours. I think that's the best thing you can do as a fan of of certain musicians. But yes, uh, I want to leave you with this cover of Time and Motion that I did uh, around 10 years ago. It's far from perfect, but uh, still uh, that shows you my early love for Rush. I think uh, I started playing some Rush stuff uh, a few years after I started drumming because I found, I, I thought it was really fascinating to play these uh, drum parts and I still think that to this day. So yes, uh, Neil Peart uh, is gone but uh, his drumming legacy lives on forever.